everyone, welcome back to another video. I have Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson, and today we are going to color a crystal. I just recently did a video where I showed you how to color gemstones, and there was a crystal on the same page that I just really want to color. <laughs> So I figured I'd pull the coloring book out and go ahead and film a tutorial and share it with all of you so that if you want to color a crystal or follow along, you can do that as well. I'm going to do something really neat with this crystal because I chose colors that I would choose if I were doing something like a galaxy background on a coloring page. And so I think it's going to look really, really cool. I am going to be using Prisma colors for this video. So if you want to follow along, go ahead and get out your Prisma colors and let's get started. If you check the description box down below, I'll have links down there for everything that you see in this video, as well as a link to my Facebook group if you would like to join us there, my Etsy shop, and my Patreon. I also now have channel membership if you would like more information on that. All you have to do is click the join button down below the video. So this is the page that we're gonna be coloring. We're gonna be coloring this crystal here, and I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the colors that I'm using today. So I have my Prisma colors and I do have my Holbein because I find that one works best. So I'm using this for the reflections on my crystal. The colors that I have are Violet Blue PC933, Blush Pink PC928, Dahlia Purple PC1009, Blue Slate PC1024, and Lilac PC956. So if you wanna follow along, go ahead and grab your colors. We are also going to be using probably a gel pen and some Posca. So if you wanna grab those, go ahead and grab those as well. I am gonna be using the thinner Posca. I think this is my thinnest one. And I also have my Jelly Roll white gel pen. I'm not sure how well it's going to work. I don't usually have that great a luck with this particular gel pen, but we're going to try it. And if it doesn't work, we'll go over it with the Posca. So crystals are actually rather easy. The most difficult part for me is choosing the colors because I like to have a lot of different colors on my crystals and not just all one color family because I feel like they look a lot better if they have a lot of contrast. And so that's what we're doing with this color combination. I got a pink and then I have a really dark purple. This is going to be for our deepest, darkest areas where we want those shadows to be really, really emphasized. And then I'm going to blend that one with the Dahlia Purple. And then for the lighter areas where I want the most reflections, I'm going to be using the Blue Slate, the Lilac, along with the Blush Pink. So I am gonna start with my darkest color in this case, and I am going to come over here, and I'm just going to start adding some color wherever I feel like we're gonna have the least amount of light reflecting upon the crystal. So I'm imagining the light coming from the front, so all of the parts of the crystal that are laying towards the front, I'm going to use colors that are a little bit lighter, and then in the end when we come back, we're going to really emphasize all of the highlighted areas with the Posca or the gel pen. So over here I would imagine there's a lot less light hitting the crystal, since this part I would imagine is sort of facing to the side and then this part to the front I'm going to try to use lighter colors because I want more of a reflection here in this area and you will be able to use the Posca and the gel pen to make even more highlights on any of the areas you want to. So for instance, if you add too much color over here, too much of your darkest color, and you decide you don't want it to look like that when you come to the end, you can always come back and add some white or even layer some of your lighter colors over the top of it and you will be just fine. So over here where I have this crystal sitting behind the other one, I would imagine there's a little bit less lighting hitting over here. So I'm going to add this violet blue. And remember, this is just one layer. And right now I'm just trying to place my colors and I am trying to go very close to the edges over here. And that's going to help me to create a little bit of added depth to the crystal. 
I would imagine these little tiny ones down here at the bottom, they're probably gonna need quite a bit more of the darkest color, but I don't want my darkest color to be in the same places. For instance, this one over here that's laying behind this one, I really don't want these two colors touching. I did a little bit right here, but when I come back later, that's probably gonna be gone over with the Posca. And then I think we should probably put a little bit of this here at the top on both sides of this crystal and then do the same thing over here as well. And then I'm gonna do the center one with a different color. So now I'm gonna come over here and work on this one and I'm gonna put a lot more of this darkest color down here towards the bottom, up into here, and then at the top as well. And then let's see, what do we wanna do with this one? Maybe a little bit of color over here to the side. But now I'm gonna come back with the Dahlia Purple and I'm gonna lay this color and make a really nice blend right into this color. Look how pretty that is. And I am going right over that color as well because I'm trying to create a blend of those two colors. I'm leaving all of these here uncolored because I think I wanna do something a little bit different with these, with some of these that are to the front, just to create a little bit of contrast throughout my crystal. And I am, again, using a little bit of the white of the paper and not covering the whole entire area. Now I have the blue slate, and I'm just going to start adding a little bit of this color in here. And I am going to add, I think it was the blush pink, in with this color as well. And this is a fairly light blue, so it's really pretty. And you can see that I am just blending this color into some of the other colors too. See how it made a beautiful blend of a completely different color. I think this color just adds a really nice contrast between the colors. I think I'm gonna add a bit of this right here on this front part of the crystal. And I am gonna blend other colors right into it. Now I have my blush pink and I wanna start adding some of this color in. And this is going to create a really nice contrast in the lighter areas of the crystal or where I want it to look like there is more light hitting the crystal. Look at the difference that makes already. I'm gonna put some down here and then of course I'm going to add that lighter blue in there as well. So this is the blue slate, and I'm just making a blend of these two colors. But the color that it creates looks so nice with the other colors that I've chosen. Now I'm gonna use my blush pink, and I'm gonna start adding in some of this color in the parts of the crystal where I used the slate blue. And again, in some areas, I'm going to create a blend of the two colors because they turn into a really pretty purple. And up here in this area, I think I want a whole lot of reflection there. So that's why I'm keeping that little corner there without any color. But look at the gorgeous contrast this creates with this blush pink, it's so pretty. And I am using this color to go over some of the other areas and get a prettier blend of those colors as well. Look how pretty that is when they all blend together. So now I have my lilac and I'm gonna start using this color just to blend it into some of these other colors where I have the darker areas. And I do make decisions as I go. If I think something's gonna look nice, I just try it because I know if I do it and it doesn't look good, I could always come back with an eraser because I was only gonna go over only those darker areas, but now I'm finding that this looks really pretty in some of the lighter areas too, blended into that blush pink. So I'm gonna start doing that as well. It's all about experimenting with your colored pencils to see what might look best. So now I'm gonna come back with the blush pink and I'm gonna start creating another layer. And you'll see as we just continue to do this, how applying the layers makes such a huge difference because it really changes the value of the color and it makes it so much more bright and vibrant. After you get a couple layers down there on the paper, it changes the whole way that it looks. And this color is really great for blending some of these other colors together, whether they are the lighter colors or the darker colors. And when I come back with my darkest color one more time, you're gonna see what a huge difference it's going to make in the depth that is created in this crystal. Once you start laying your colors down, you'll see that you start to create a plan and an idea and it's really difficult to do that before you start laying your colors down. You really have to just start so that you know what's going to look good and what you like and what you don't like. 
Now I'm going to come back with my darkest color, the violet blue, and I'm going to start adding some more color in all of the areas where I want some more of the drastic shadows. And I'm going to go ahead and speed this up while I do this, just so y'all can see it really come together and the difference that it's going to make. my Dahlia purple and I'm going to come back and add another layer of this and again I'm going to speed this up so you could see it just all come together. I decided I wanted to go ahead and grab my Deco Peach. It has a little bit of contrast from that blush pink and I think it would look really pretty. So I'm just going to try this and see what happens. And oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. And see y'all, that's why you need to experiment with your colored pencils and just try new things. If you have an idea, try it and see if you like it. Sometimes you will love it, and there will, of course, be other times that you don't care for it. But if you don't experiment with your colored pencils, you really don't learn what colors go together. Oh, look how pretty. I love it. And I am still leaving a little bit of white in some places. So I think I need to add just a little bit more blue. And so I'm just going to come over some of these colors and let this blue slate just sort of peep out in certain places. Like right here, can you see how I just added all that extra blue in there? It's so pretty. But this blue just adds such a pretty contrast. Over here in the lighter part of this crystal here, I just wanna add a little bit of that blue in there and then blend a little bit into here and then use it to pull these colors together and blend them in a little bit more in these darker areas. And now I think I'm just gonna come back with my violet blue one more time and I'm gonna go through and add a lot more depth in here by adding, I think this is maybe the third layer of this color. <music> Had lost some footage in filming so I'm coming in to do a voiceover to show you exactly what I'm doing here. You're just going to grab your white gel pen. You can use any white gel pen you'd like to. Here I'm using the white jelly roll and it seems to be working pretty well throughout the entire crystal. In some areas you may even want to do as I'm doing in some of the corners to add a little bit of extra reflection and bring the white gel pen a little bit downward. But this is the most fun part of all, coloring your crystal, because you can really see how it all comes together and it really starts to look like an actual crystal. In the end, I didn't even have to come back and use a Posca like I thought I would. Of course, you can always come back in, use your Posca and add in a few reflections. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna use this gel pen and go over all the black lines just by adding all of that white to create all of those highlights and reflections all throughout the entire crystal. So after I have laid all of the gel pen, I always like to come back with my darkest color and just darken up some of the spaces that may have lost a little bit of their color from the gel pen. When you go over the gel pen, it not only adds just a little bit more shadow because you're going over that white gel pen, it actually changes the color of the pencil just a little bit and it makes it look really neat. But I always like coming back and doing this. 
and just adding some of those shadows right back in. But right here, I feel like the gel pen took away a whole lot from it and made it disappear. So I'm just adding some of that color back in here. Look how cool that looks once you come back and just add some of that color back in. And you could do it with the other colors, not just this one. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more of this Dahlia purple. And that's really gonna change the way that it looks. I love the contrast of this color, but like I always tell y'all, once you think you're done, <laughs> always come back and add another layer. And then this side over here really lost quite a bit of its color because it's a smaller one. So I'm just gonna come over here and add some of that color right back in. Y'all have to let me know what you think of these galaxy type colors on a crystal. I think it looks super cool, but we didn't even end up needing to use the Posca and the gel pen worked just fine. I need to come back and just finish off the bottom part here. <laughs> some glitter. <laughs> I have the stardust and I think this is going to look really pretty on top of these but I think that's actually let me color these in just a little bit and then put the stardust on top. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this color. What is this? Dahlia purple and I'm going to color in a couple of these and then maybe come back with a different color. This is the violet blue and color in those and then I'm just going to come over here and go right over them with the stickles. And if you ever mess up with your stickles, you just wipe it right off. They take a little while to dry. So I have these Ohuhu glitter pens, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. <laughs> and I have the silver one. And I'm just going to go over all of these little dots down here and I'm just gonna dot them all with the silver and then I'm gonna add some glitter and add a couple of my own little dots in there and then I am going to take the stardust glitter oh my gosh look how pretty that is it's like reflecting blues and and pinks and all kinds of really pretty colors and I'm just gonna go over this whole area with some glitter oh my gosh I love it <laughs> absolutely love it Maybe bring my glitter up just a little bit into here. And I think it's done. Okay, y'all, so there is my galaxy colored <laughs> looking crystal. I absolutely love it. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up because that really helps my videos to get around to others that would like to see this type of content. If you follow this tutorial and you color your own crystal, please share it with me in my Facebook group. I love seeing what y'all create after you followed my tutorials. Everything you've seen in this video I will have linked in the description box below. If y'all don't already have stickles, <laughs> I will have a link down there for the cheapest place that you can get them. I love my stickles and those Ohuhu glitter pens are just amazing and they are not very expensive at all. So all of those links will be down in the description box below. I hope y'all have a fabulous day and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring! Bye.